Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. Happy Tuesday, May the 10th, 2022. This is episode number 386 of your three business tips at three o'clock and in around three minutes. Small business owners, solopreneurs, if you're just joining in, we are on a week-long series talking about better health. And you're up to part five, which we're going to talk about carbs. Today, we're going to talk about carbs and protein, intermittent fasting, and mindless eating. Now, you're probably saying, what does this have to do with business, Fred? These are supposed to be business tips. Well, you, the business owner, are going to be working hard. You need to be in your best possible health. And at some point, you're going to have a team of people, and you want to be concerned about their health. Better health leads to better attendance, which leads to better mindset, which leads to better employees, and especially you, their leader. Business tip number one, we've grown up our whole lives, at least I have in my 52 years of being on this planet, of being heard that we should be having a high carb diet, low fat. But here in the last five to 10 years, you've heard everything from keto to all sorts of diets that really talk about a low carb, high protein diet. And there's tons of information about this. Uh, cutting carbs burns fat, it makes you less hungry, gives you more energy. Just Google it. You probably have heard of some of these diets that are around. You should take them into serious, serious consideration. Business tip number two is consider intermittent fasting. When I was growing up, fasting was only for the deeply religious people, and they would fast for religious reasons, but who knew? Healthline.com says that fasting reduces insulin resistance, blood sugar levels, blood pressure, inflammation, even some forms of cancer and Alzheimer's. What does intermittent fasting look like? I'm not saying skipping and not eating for a whole day, but maybe skipping breakfast and making lunch and dinner closer together. They call this the 16-8 window. There's all different kinds of different intermittent fasting, but you should try it out. It's kind of the opposite of having five meals a day where you really only have two or one meal a day, and you try to close what they refer to as your eating window. Business tip number three is get out of the habit of mindless eating. What is mindless eating? That's where you buy that big tub of popcorn while you're watching a movie at the movie theaters. It's about eating in front of the television with a bag of chips. It's not a meal. It's a snack, but you're doing it in a way that you're not focused on it. It's not a scheduled meal where you have no portion control. That's mindless eating. And eating popcorn in a movie theater is probably the best example of how not to do that. So in review, we talked about low carb, high protein, intermittent fasting, and mindless eating. That's what I'm learning today. Anything I learn, I throw the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.